FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 14th of June. We're looking at the uh, E-mini down 18. Let's just go to the Dow. We've got the Dow down 235. Um, oh, wrong one. I went to go to the chart over here. Excuse me. I've been, I did the uh, I did Tommy's show just now, the morning market kickoff. So now this is going to be the morning. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Dow's down 246 at 38,401. Still in a pretty serious daily sell mode. But the weekly chart, we'll see if it goes to a sell signal by the end of the day. The S&P uh, is trading at, uh, now this is going to be very interesting because it was trying to rally earlier on. Now it's gone back to the sell side. It's down 19 at 54.14. But it's only, uh, you know, just, uh, a couple of dozen points off the all-time high of just three days ago. Look at the QQQ, same thing. Now the QQQ is up 81 cents. Um, it was down just now at 477.48. Almost, it's in leg D, almost at an all-time high. The SMHs, I wonder if they're holding all-time highs. Nope, they haven't gone to an all-time high yet. Uh, that was at 269.14 yesterday. Looking at the IWM, it's been very weak, very weak now, down three at 198.95. Gold was trying to rally quite strongly today. Uh, it's now up 28. It's doing okay. It's in a sideways movement, but that weekly chart says, hey, I'm holding very well. I, I, if I can hold the 2280s over the next day or two, uh, next into early next week. That's going to be good. If you look at the dollar, I never had a chance to do the dollar in Tommy's show. The dollar is screaming to the upside, up 50. See, we've been along the dollar since 2018. 105.79, up 56 cents, doing very nicely. If you're looking at the, I'll do the other currencies when we get back, and I'll do the grains. I had questions about that. I'll do it in my Tiger Technicians out, but bonds. Bonds are up 22, 30 seconds. Now that's going to be important. That's telling us there's weakness in the economy. And that's the only thing that if the market senses that the, the there is a weakness in the economy, first of all, it takes that as negative news. And then later on, it says, hey, low yields. I love that. And that, that helps the market. So we're going to be watching this very closely. And crude oil actually had a nice rally earlier today. It's uh, up 28 cents. I think, OK, I'll be back for the target missions. Wow, there's a lot to talk about. See you in a few moments and check out my opening call daily newsletter. <laughs>